All right, back to integration by parts, part three. Here we go. X squared sine X, two things multiplied together. Can't do without doing integration by parts. So I set the ugly part to uh, be sine X dx. Whoops, I forgot my X there. It'd be good if I had my X. And I get, uh, clearly I'm going to get uh, V equals uh, negative cosine, negative cosine, negative cosine X. Again, I should worry about a plus C, but I don't have to worry about a plus C simply because, uh, again, we're going to integrate it later. So therefore, we need a plus C later on that, and everybody's happy with that. All right. Okay, so then the next thing I'm going to do is i got to figure out what U is. U is logically going to be the same sort of thing. U is therefore going to be X squared. Uh, so du, therefore, is equal to 2x dx. All right, so we feel like integration by parts is working beautifully. Why did I say this was hard? Uh, integral uh, of v, I just get this backwards, sorry, pausing, u dv equals the uv, oh, u, my pin's not working, oh, I paused there, uh, minus, that's a u, in case you can't see that, uh, integral of v du. All right. Okay. All right. So then I start plugging things in thinking, hey, this is working out great. I plug in my u. My u is equal to x squared. That looks good. dv is equal to sine x dx. And again, that looks like what I want to integrate over here, right? And then I've got uv. So u is x squared. dv is equal to, and I'm going to put my v, I put my minus sign in front, negative cosine x. Everything's working beautifully. I feel like things are going really, really well. Negative cosine x. And then I get du is 2x dx. Now, what's the problem here? I haven't, I can't integrate this. Same problem. I have two things. Neither one of them can be done separately. You can't set u equal to x. You can't do anything that's going to make your life better here. But, but, we went from x squared to 2x. If we repeat the process, We'd be taking the derivative again. We're going to get rid of the 2x. And so this is what happens sometimes. You get integration by parts. Sometimes you have to grind it down. Do make sure you're making your life better, right? Make sure that it's getting closer to the right answer. Otherwise, you don't, you know, if, if your power is going up, not down, you're doing it the wrong way. Switch your v and your u. Okay. All right. So uh, I'm going to, to set this thing up over here. I'm going to write x squared cosine. No, I'm not, because the pin's not working. Oh, pin is now working crazy talk. <sighs> okay, pausing. All right, and then... All right, so hopefully I've got this figured out. So there would be a minus sign out in front of this. Cosine x plus, and then I've got the integral of cosine x to x dx. So I still got two functions, so I'm going to integrate by parts again. What's the ugly part? I would say dv is therefore equal to, in this case, this this iteration around is going to be uh, going to be equal to cosine x dx. So v is therefore equal, the integral of what gives me cosine x? It would be negative, no, just be plain old sine x, uh, sine x plus c. So I've got my dv, I've got my v, my u, therefore, is going to be equal to 2x. So, therefore, my du is going to be equal to 2dx. All right. So, therefore, um, I've got everything I need to repeat the whole thing again, right? So, this left-hand side right here is still equal to negative x cosine squared x plus. Now, I'm going to go ahead and go again. uv, so u is equal to 2x v is equal to sine x uh, minus the integral of v du, sine x, 2 dx. Okay, and then I keep going. It's going to give me negative x squared cosine x plus 2x sine x uh, minus, and then the derivative of what gives me sine x, it'd be uh, negative cosine x, so negative cosine x. I still got a 2 here, so I'm going to put the 2 there, and I'm going to add a plus c, and I'm good to go. And we are all the way done with this monstrosity, as long as I clean it up. 
so as not to scare children. 2x sine x plus 2 cosine x plus c. And that is the final expression for this integration by parts. And again, what did we do that was different this time? When we integrated, we ended up with something that also had a another integration by parts. And you can end up doing this like if that thing started off as x to the seventh, we'd have to do it seven times, right? We have to integrate by parts seven times, grinding it down to something else. So you got to watch out for when you're trying this method is if you're if it doesn't look like you're going to a simpler and simpler direction. You need to back up and say, maybe I need to switch my U and my V. And that sometimes happens, which is part of the reason why you're going to need to practice. So there's a bunch of practice problems at the very end. Go ahead and have at it, those. If you have any questions, um, send them by email or drop them into the, uh, to the written part of your uh, um, expression there. Like, like write it in the, with the posting part of the Teams. Okay? Thank you. And I will, uh, I will be hitting you up next for something much easier than this one, which is carrying capacity, which requires just a bunch of memorization, but actually is very apropos to what's happening in the news today. I don't know if I'm supposed to mention that sort of thing, but I will do it anyways because I am, that's who I am. Okay. Pausing and, um, okay. Send me anything you got if you need to.